Where's Maddie? Maddie! Where's Maddie? So today, I went skiing. It was a lot of fun, and my eyes are kind of red. I'm tired, so I'll keep it short. But today, the topic is about confidence. So I was skiing, and the first time I went down the slopes, I was like, ugh, this is terrible. I hate it. I think I'm done skiing. Like, maybe skiing's not for me. And this is the second time I've been, but I decided to take lessons again because um, I like having lessons. I always learn something amazing. It's like having a life coach. You always have amazing stuff. So, of course, I would have a ski coach. So I have this amazing ski coach. His name is Izzy. And he's been teaching, he's been teaching skiing for over 40 years. This man is amazing. So he teaches me how to, like, first we do, he makes it very easy. You know, like he'll say, okay, first we're just going to go down the, um, the slopes, you know, in a, like a zigzag, a uh, SC, a C or S kind of formation. And then we, um, he teaches you about leaning forward onto the balls of your feet and then, lean forward with um, your, your toes and your balls of your feet like in the uh, snowshoe. And then, very last step, which is the hardest step, which is very counterintuitive for me since I used to practice yoga and so I'm always usually sitting back, you know, like in a seated chair position in yoga. Well, in skiing, the, what there is to do is actually lean forward into your shins, into the shoe. You're actually putting your full faith and confidence into the shoe as you start about to turn into the turns, so you'd like lean your body forward onto the balls of your feet, onto your toe, your big toe, and into your shin, into the shoe. Like so counterintuitive. But what I've learned is, as I went down the slopes over and over and over and over and over, like that's how you build confidence, right? Like we think conf confidence is some elusive thing where, like, gosh, like people, they're just born with confidence. They're just born as leaders. They're just born to be good at something. But what I've learned is actually confidence is something you do over and over, and it's really uncomfortable at first. You know, it's very counterintuitive. And then I get to hit the slopes for two more days where I know I'll become even more confident over time. So, my hair is a mess. And um, I had so much fun skiing. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So much fun. But there you have it. If you'd like to build confidence, what there is to do is to do it over and over and over and over and over and over. Do it on repeat. It's kind of like faith and belief. You don't necessarily need to have it, but once you have it on repeat, you say it over and over and over. <laughs> yes, King is so much fun. Um, you get better at it, just like with anything. And then when you get better at something, of course, you build confidence. So, if you haven't tried skiing, check it out. And the first time, you may hate it and know that if you keep doing it, you'll build confidence and you might love it, like I'm loving it. And two, if you have an amazing ski instructor, your life will change. Just like you have an amazing life coach, your life can't help but be transformed. So, uh, with that said, <laughs> um, I'm keeping it short. And um, I send you love, light, profound clarity, and infinite possibility in all that you desire to do. And all that you would like to create for your life. And the kind of life you'd like to live. All in aligned with your soul's expansion, your soul's alignment, of course. And if you didn't already know already, I'm a life coach. So I coach clients for a living and I help them transform their lives and shift into a different way of living that is powerful and meaningful and fulfilling. And if it sounds amazing and you would love to have access to that, then what there is to do is to reach out to me and see if I'm for you, if you are for me. And uh, we can meet virtually online. Uh, we can talk uh, on the phone, or we can have lunch, or dinner, or um, coffee, if you're in the lo local Dallas area. And um, you can see, you know, having a life coach is deeply transformative. You just start living into a life that you start creating for yourself, one that is full of, has life fulfillment and meaning, and you really tap into how infinitely powerful you are. It's amazing. So. Get a life coach, it doesn't have to be, and learn skiing if you don't already do it, and know that confidence is built, uh, but not something you have, something you're born with, but it's something you do over on repeat until you start getting good at it, and it becomes easier, you start enjoying it, and you start loving it. <laughs> Here's you living a soul-elevated life, and I will see you tomorrow.